Hello, hello, my chocoholics. It is Michelle, your Chocotour independent designer. We are gonna get inky tonight. We are gonna take the January Club Couture transfer and we are going to ink this. So stay tuned. I can't wait to show you guys this. Um, come on in and say hi. Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are gonna have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with the designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, hi. So what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chocology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You want to make sure you join my Chocoholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you will be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. Hello, hello. Hey, Julie, how are you doing? Hello, hello. As you guys come in, I'm just going to set up some things here. I am so excited for this project. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Kim, how you doing? Hello, hello, guys. So we did this project once. We did this on a Sylvie board, okay? This is the one we did. Isn't our Club Couture amazing? It is so amazing. So if you're not a member... I'm just going to show you what's here. Hey, Amanda. So this is the Club Couture of January. So you get this reusable silkscreen transfer. You get these three gorgeous chalk pastes. Oh, my gosh. Do you see that? So, yes, this is amazing. <laughs> so if you are not a club member, you need to have more information. If you would like more information um, on this, then I need you to... Matches your lipstick. Oh, does it? <laughs> then I need you guys to um, just comment club if you don't know what it's all about because you are really missing out. Um, club Couture gives you these exclusive reusable silk cream transfers every month just for the low price of $19.99. So you get the exclusive. You get those pay singles that I showed you. You also get free shipping on your club kit, okay? Amazing. Um, not only that, but everything else you buy during that month um, ships to you for only $4.95. So you get the low rate shipping. Um, there's different promotions. Like right now, you can get different creative kickstarts um, from the past for 50% off if you're a Club Couture member. I don't know if you guys saw me in the Showcase VIP group. We did this creative kickstart. Look at this. Look at this. It comes with these fun pieces. You get this transfer for any um, chalk site purchase of $60. And then there's a second transfer I don't have near me right now that you get for $75. But for $90 purchases, you get both of the transfers and all of the add-ons. So if you guys can see our Chalk Couture magnets you can cut. So I have our Chalk Couture magnets. And this is one of our Aiden boards that is magnetic. Isn't this? Hey, Vanessa. Thank you for your purchase today, Vanessa. Look how cute this is. So that is our creative kickstart. Um, but if you want more information on club, just type in club here in the comments and I will 
give you more information. But just know for the same price as Club Couture, you could also be a designer. Um, so Club Couture is $19.99 a month. You can also join as a designer for $19 and pay $19.99 a month and get the designer perk. So we can talk about that too. But for right now, we are going to work on this. Let me go ahead and show you guys um, my workspace here. It's a little bit of a mess. So what we're going to be designing is the um, 9 by 12 pennant banner. What I love about this banner is that you can chalk on the banner or you can ink on the banner. I think we're going to ink this tonight because this might just be a sprinkle prize. So this banner comes with the wood stick. It comes with this twine. Okay. And look at this. It is so cute. And what I did for tonight's project is I dyed it red. You know, I just got a whole bunch of banners and about 16 different colors of writ because now I want this in every single color. So inking is a little different than chalking. Something that you're going to need. Um, hold on, let me move this. I had something stuck over here from a project earlier today. Um, what you're going to need is an ink mat. So we have two ink mats. One of them is the square. One of them is like the lumbar. So they match our pillow covers that we have. Um, what I love about these is that, look, they're tacky, they're sticky, um, so it holds your project in place and it prevents any bleeding in there. So that means that when I put my banner on here, it's going to grab it. Let me take that stick out. It's going to grab my banner and it's going to stick to it, but it's not going to go through and mess up anything else. So I'm just going to take it and stick it on like this and see how it's holding it on there so nice there we go thanks for sprinkling Vanessa we're gonna be drawing our next um, sprinkler tonight so I need to add you in there so when you um, sprinkle that means you S-H-A-R-E and da, da, da. Vanessa on here so tonight we're going to be inking we're not going to be chalking on here and when you ink your transfer you want your transfer to still be sticky so you're not going to see me fuzz it because we want our transfer to really stick to here so that there's no air bubbles that there's no bleeding of ink in there okay so i'm going to just take my transfer and i'm going to stick it directly on where i want it so let's go ahead and put it Dun, dun, dun. right here so the same transfer you can use with your chalk paste you can use with your couture ink you can use it with etching cream if you want to etch something let me just make sure there we go and you could also use that that wood burning cream i'm going to leave some room at the top in case i want to put something up there like that and then I'm just gonna make sure that there are no air bubbles in there and then with the sharpie I'm gonna write on the back of my transfer just so I know which sides the back you always want to stick your transfer back to that glossy side okay so I like to know which side is which because you know you guys know I can't see very well you guys know that that's no surprise <laughs> no surprise at all um so now we have this on here i think the hardest part of this whole project is going to be picking some colors and i brought my inks over here so let's see here um i have my little bin of ink uh we don't want red i won't be able to see that very much let me see what colors we do have here current jam on red i don't know mm, couture coral do you think that'll show up i'm not sure we do have some black velvet Ooh, maybe we'll use some couture teal i kind of like that kind of like that we do have fawn mm, we have bright white we have silver Ooh, we have berry do you think berry would show up on there very well we have berry. 
Ocean Mist. Marvelous. You know I'm going to pick Marvelous. And um, I just got some new colors in this week. Let's see. We have Tide. I'm looking to see if something in there matches. Mm. I have some um, fun embellishments to go on. And I'm just looking to see if anything is shouting out to me. So we have Shimmer Copper, Shimmer Gold, Dune, Cadet, Pesto Sage, and Tide. Um, hey Heidi! So this is the fun part about being a designer is for every um, 200 PV that we have in a month, we get free products. So I use some to get some ink colors that I didn't have. We will, you know what? Mm, this Tide... Did I not have Tide before? Is looking like it would go beautiful with red. What do you guys think? Tide or Couture Teal? Mm, 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 mm. Those are both gorgeous. Oh gosh, how do you decide? Let's keep out the silver. Let's keep out the white. I'm going to put all of these back over here. Okay. Move this. How are you doing tonight, Heidi? How you doing, girl? Let's just put these ink colors over here. Something I always like to have when I'm inking is a paper towel because you don't want to make a mess with your hands. You really don't. All right. You're going to use the same tool. So the only thing so far I've done different is I didn't fuzz my transfer and I used an ink mat. Okay. Um, so I definitely want to use Marvelous. I'm just going to put that right there. I want to use Marvelous. I'm kind of digging this fawn, but I feel bad using it because this, I don't think this color is even available anymore. So I'm just going to throw that out there. Why don't we pull out some, hey, Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie, sorry, I could not answer the phone when you called me. I, um... I was making pavlova. I still have pavlova in the oven, and I'm so excited for this pavlova. Um, expect photos later tonight of my pavlova. I made fresh lemon curd to go in my pavlova, so I... <laughs> Let me see. Maybe we'll do... Should we do teal or tide? Teal or tide? I don't want to use coral anymore. Who is it, Ezzy? Uh, tell him to leave it on the porch. Um, should we use current jam? Let's use. I don't. I can't decide if I'm gonna use white or silver. Current jam. I don't know if it's my jam. Stephanie said lighter. I'm gonna take out the current jam. I don't need too much color. Oh, some of these when they dry. And then because we have Marvelous, I'm going to take out Berry. But I don't use my inks very often, and I'm not good at getting the color off of the sides. The good news is my um, ink. I know, right, Heidi? I got something from Michael's. Um, I have an ear infection. I found out today at the doctor's I have an ear infection. Um, and I didn't feel like going shopping today. So I ordered something from Michael's and I had vouchers to use. So I had them bring it to me. That's how lazy I am. I'll spend hours trying to perfect my pavlova, but I will not go. I can't open this one. Where's my Jessica Wilson opener? Um, I will not go to Michael's to get something. And it's not even something I needed right now. It's something that I'm making for, um... There we go. There we go. See how all of that dried ink on the side? You like the white better than the silver? Maybe we'll take out the black. So we should use Marvelous Teal and White, you're saying, Stephanie? You know I would never say no to bright white. It is my favorite. And it would look really good against that white, wouldn't it? Okay, so, yes, my dog is going nuts right now, but what I got has nothing to do with chalk, so we won't even talk about it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. You're not lazy yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. I just don't do 
Well, I've never had an ear infection before. Um, and I wasn't sure if it's because of, um, what was I going to say? Because I was wearing ear pods on the airplane that gave me the ear infection. I don't know, but I was about to cry earlier because it hurt so bad. All right. So maybe these three colors would be really good. And what I'm going to do, you agree with Stephanie with the, the white better? Okay. What do you think of this palette? Do you think that we should use Tide with the Marvelous or the Teal with the Marvelous? I think it can go either way, but she wanted the, the lighter color one. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. I'm going to close up my, I don't know if we should add black in there or just leave those. All right. Here. Kim says teal and Kim is a designing diva. So that is good. I'm thinking maybe we should play around a little bit and do some inky hot messing on these hearts. Now, the other thing you'll notice that I don't do is I don't need to do that paste and peel method. Stephanie and Kim say teal. Um, just the light colors that will pop. Yes. So um, you don't have to worry. Your ink is not going to dry like your paste. You have plenty of time. Um, you don't have to worry about it at all. And if anything, the one thing that I always try to make sure of is that... Um, as I'm peeling a kind of look, sometimes depending on what fabric you are inking on, it can soak it up a little bit. So you want to make sure. But I'm going to take my um, Marvelous and I'm going to plop some on these hearts here. But I'm going to hot mess them with that white, I think. So I'm just going to go like that, have a little bit of fun. I want definitely more Marvelous than white in them. But I just want to get like a little marble effect. And then I'll come through with a little bit of that white. Like that. All right. Got a little plate here. Then I'm going to take one of my squeegees. And I'm just going to go through and kind of fill it in like this. Hopefully that um, Marvelous, you can see it. I, I thought I had a peony. Did I not have a peony? Um, I guess I don't. I thought I did. Didn't we use it on the pillow? Hmm. Somewhere in this room there's a peony ink. <laughs> I know it's your favorite method. Maybe that's why I picked it. So we'll have that. Okay. Um, and then next, let's see. You want to still make sure you get all that excess off. All right. I'm going to hop down to these words and I'm going to do them in white. That is not just looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and ink that. Now, you could just do this all in one color. You can't go wrong with this. This is such a good message. And you don't even have to do this like Valentine's-y. This could be all year round, any color. It's just a great saying like this. Like this. Like this. There we go. Love you should do in the teal and white hot mess. You want that hot mess too? So we'll do this one. I'm gonna just get that excess off of there. Um, and then we'll get our teal. And we'll just kind of it in here and then we'll add some now depending on what size you do your dollops is the different look you'll get my dollops are a little big um, I don't want it to be too 
much. There we go. So there we have that. And then I think it will too, Stephanie. And then I'm just going to kind of go through. I can't hear out of my left ear. This is going to make for a very interesting work week um, when I'm not going to be able to hear my patients. And usually they can't hear me because I have a shield and a mask and all of this stuff on my face. So no one's going to be able to hear each other this week. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. All right. So now, um, I'm gonna do one of these side dots in the teal and this side dot in the teal. And I'm gonna do this heart in the Marvelous. I love Marvelous. I think it is Marvelous. There, and then we'll do The, the squeegee is a little wide for that heart there. I'm just trying to plan out what I want to do. Um, and then I'm going to skip that since I'm still deciding in my head what I want to do with it. But I'm going to do this one. Like this. And it's best if you hold your squeegee more up and down. That kind of helps it through there like this and like this. And if you only have a couple colors of ink, don't be scared to get out one of your color trays or any little dish. Mix your own color, okay? You can add white to any color to make a different shade. Um, you can add some of your shimmer to it. You can have so much fun. Like there's no right or wrong with this at all. Everything is unique and it's whatever you like to design. Okay. Um, I'm just going to add that there and this here. Um... I'm gonna take this Marvelous and do just this box right here, like this. Cute, cute. Get some more here. Here. What did you guys have for dinner tonight? It was my head covering the whole project. I um, have some mahi-mahi that I can't decide how I want to cook it. I need to decide because as soon as this video is over, I need to cook dinner. <laughs> but I think I'm going to put it in our new foodie. Um, I'm trying out a new air fryer. Um, Stephanie was there when I bought this one at Kohl's. <laughs> And so far, it's working amazing. I just made my son his stuffed crust pizza in it earlier. It was super crispy and delicious. So I'm making some smashed potatoes. That's not mashed potatoes. That's when you roast potatoes and smash it with some aioli um, and some asparagus. So maybe all of it will be in the foodie. Um, each other in teal or are you gonna hot mess it hmm maybe I'll do it in teal it does fold up nice Stephanie you know that's why I bought a girlfriend that's why I made you carry it to my trunk because <laughs> it folded up oh Heidi that sounds so delicious I love shepherd's pie now are you doing traditional shepherd's pie where you use lamb um oh you went to Luna Zool. I was supposed to be at Luna Zool tonight I mean, not really, but I didn't take Ezra to karate tonight because I was making my pavlova and I didn't feel like sitting in a cold car with an ear infection. So I didn't. I did not. Um, okay, so Stephanie said, how many squeegees am I going to use today? We'll just do that in all teal. You offered, you did offer to carry that big heavy thing. You're like my CrossFit friend. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. Like this. I'm gonna have to change how I embellish this because I, I did not plan on using teal 
Um, so what I was gonna use, Kim actually knows what I was gonna use because she um, showed it to me today and I was like, oh, I have that. I was gonna use it tonight, but I'm gonna use something else now. Um, with hamburger, that is good too, Heidi. That is good too. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna do that arrow in the Marvelous. This is gonna be so cute, you guys. We'll do that. And then we'll go here. I'm trying to decide if I wanna be a good girl and let this design dry for 24 hours or if we should speed it up and just heat press it so you guys can see it heat press tonight. Same should be hot mess. We'll do hot mess with that and that there we go heat press okay as long as you guys want to make my dinner late i'm just kidding mahi mahi um cooks up really quick it's the potatoes, but I'm going to throw them in this little foodie. So I don't think it'll take long either. The asparagus will just take like 10 minutes in that thing. This. Like this. I think I'm going to do the word direction in the teal. I can just see this ink soaking through. So that's the one thing I'm not sure with. If it soaks through with the hot mess, if adding more, we'll see. We will see. There we go. I'm gonna just grab more of the teal and do this word. Yes, this teal ink has to be three years old, but it's still going strong. Our inks do last quite a bit. Right through here. I'm gonna get off any excess. Put that there. Hi, Sin. I've been, I feel like, um, oh, Ron, do you hear background noise? 15 minutes for Mahi Mahi. That seems like a long time for Mahi Mahi. Um, let me see. What background noise you hearing, Rhonda? And then let's go ahead and do this one. You may need to hop out and hop back in, Rhonda, if you're hearing weird noise in the back. Um, so I have a chat with Sin here. She is um, a crafter. She's thinking about maybe becoming a designer. <laughs> yeah, depends on how thick it is. Um, yeah, I don't like Mahi Mai overdone. I want it flaky and perfection. Sometimes I'll just pan um, sear it just for a couple seconds. Well, a couple minutes. Um, Stephanie doesn't hear any background noise. So, so yeah, um, Rhonda, just hop out, hop back in. Now I'm trying to decide these little dots. Remember what we did the other day? I have a whole bucket of washed squeegees that I haven't put away. I'm just going to do the same technique. I'm just going to grab some of these. They're still a little wet. Rhonda has a double echo. Echo, echo, echo. Yeah, you may want to hop out and hop back in real quick. Might be your connection. All right, so we're gonna grab some uh, there, there. I feel like this is deja vu. I think I did this on our chalkboard. I did, I did. Um, I'm gonna do it again, because it's fun, and I like it. It's my project, I can do it. <laughs> like this. So Sin, I know you and I were talking about chalk paste earlier this is our couture ink 
So this is something that is permanent. You can ink on um, pillows. You can ink on t-shirts. You could ink on glass and bake it. Anything that you can heat set, um, you can ink. So it's super fun to do, super easy to do. Let's do our white next. And we're just gonna go here. The only problem um, with not allowing your ink to fully dry what did I see is that sometimes if you heat set it and it is not fully fully dry the color can be off like sometimes it'll fuse the color out so um, red can become pink but maybe we'll try to dry it a little bit with our um, dry tool to see if we can get it to work. That way you can at least see how to heat set. You can use your iron. I have a Cricut heat press here. Um, and then upstairs in my craft room, I have one of those clamshell presses. So whatever you have, an iron works just fine. Works just fine. And then we'll put this. I can't wait to see this. Here, here, there, there. Maybe I won't even make mahi mahi. Maybe I'll just serve pavlova for dinner. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our hands are clean. I have some teal paste on my fingernail. You don't want that. You don't want that. Okay. Make sure my ink's out of the way. And I'm gonna slowly peel just to look to see if anything has really soaked in. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm peeling it. So far, so look how pretty that teal is on here. I'm peeling it. Everything so far is looking really good. Peeling it. Oh, look how pretty that is. Peeling it. Perfect. Now a couple of those dots, I can add a little bit more. So I'm just gonna lay it back down. It was mostly the marvelous, let's see. So I'm just gonna go back and add a little more. to those areas. And then I may add, what did I do with the one with teal on it? Here it is. I didn't press hard enough on these. There, there. There we go. There's the teal. Mm, I think we're good. Ta-da! Okay, this is ink on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in the sink so the ink does not dry. Just gonna put a little bit of water on top of that. What do I have on there? What do you guys think so far? So a little bit of ink went through right there. That's okay, just a little tiny dot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off of my ink mat. If you don't have an ink mat, you can always just put it on cardboard. Um, that'll keep it from bleeding through. But you don't want to use like a heat tool or anything on top because it will warp. It as it gets hot. So let's just use this to dry it a little bit. You know what, while we're doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my heat press and plug it in. So one thing I'm gonna do is scrape all of that ink away from the sides so that I can open it next time. <laughs> that in 
there. I'm just moving all of this inky stuff out of the way so I can put my press up here. Okay, so you can be getting your iron ready if this was your project and just preheating your iron. I'm just going to put this and plug this in right here. That, um, thanks. Hey, Teresa. Um, that rainbow project that I showed you guys, if you guys were not in the group that I did it in, I am going to post the video in my VIP group. So if you're not in my VIP group, let me know. I can add you to my VIP group so you can see the rainbow project. Okay. I'm just going to dry this. So the ink will stay wet, okay? The ink is going to stay wet. It's going to stay a little tacky. Oh, thanks, Sin. I hope I'm saying that right, Sin. But in my head, that's how it would be said. Um... So the, the ink is not going to fully dry at all. I could leave this out for days. The ink is not going to dry. But when we heat set it, what it does is not only does it dry, but it fuses it into the fabric. So I could actually just throw this in the washing machine. Okay. We're going to add some embellishment to this, but I'm trying to decide what to do. After we do this part, we're going to add it. I can't decide what I want to do yet. You're going to have to help me. I have a lot of options down here. Normally, I would suggest that you let this dry for at least 24 hours before you heat press. Do as I say, not as I do. Is that, what, <laughs> is that what they say? Okay. So again, you can only get this transfer if you're in the club or if you're a designer. So if you love this, make sure you hop on. You definitely do not want to miss February. Um, I'm not going to show you guys February yet, but I love it. I actually have mine right here. Um, it came with my order yesterday. So designers get it early. And designers will even start to get it even earlier soon. Um, so that we can kind of make stuff. There we go. And again, if you're just joining and you didn't see, this is the chalk one that we did. Isn't that pretty? I did that in pinks and shimmer silver. So, good. Club Couture is only $19.99 a month. Free shipping for that, um, which is nice. Let's see. We'll put our pad down. We'll put this down. I have a piece of parchment paper down. And we're going to set it on here just for 30 seconds. Up like this. I don't know if I was supposed to hit that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it just 30 seconds is when it beeps. I don't use this very much. Um, but if you're using an iron, you want to do this for four minutes each side. Okay. Um, if you're using something like this, you want to do it for 30 seconds on both sides. I can't remember if it's going to beep or not. I pressed the button so many times, I don't know. I'm just gonna move this up. Down here. I thought I hit that button, but now I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, I have to hit the C. <laughs> I guess that sets the timer. So I guess you can change the timer. So it's the C. See, see that? <laughs> and now my numbers are counting down. Yay. 
Can you see I never really use this? Come to think of it, I have not heat pressed the Valentine's Day pillow yet. I should do that while it's still hot after the video. I did get the next transfer, the um, X's and O's. Oh, this is, see now when I touch it, it is completely smooth. It's in the fabric and I can put this in the washing machine. I may do that top other side again. But this is super fast if you have something like this. Closing up my white ink. So you can see, Sin, that this is super easy. Anybody can do this. Um, I used to be kind of intimidated with the ink because I thought I would just mess everything up. But um, there are, I would say, some reasons why ink is easier and there's some reasons why chalk can be easier. Um, I think it's give and take. And once you get comfortable with using the different textures and different um, surfaces, it's really all the same and it's just amazing that you can use the same reusable silk screen transfer for both okay um just want to make sure i didn't miss any oh Rhonda, let me add you to my sprinkle box while this is going i'm just going to do 30 seconds on that top part since i don't know Ooh, we got a good bit of sprinklers in this box. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. That's good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. So the coolest thing about this is how it is so smooth. It is so smooth. Oh, no. Did you sprinkle Stephanie? Good thing you said some girlfriend. I didn't see it. Steph. Steph is in the box. Okay. So let's move this out of the way. Then we have to decide, okay, now how do we want to play with this? I have some fun embellishments here. There and there. Look at these. At first I thought this would match the teal, but now look, look how cute this is. Look, you can even go like this, but it doesn't match anymore, that teal. So we also have white. Look how fun this is. I found this at the craft store. That would not look good with that. <laughs> um. This one has purples. We'll save that for another project. Look at all of these. We have white. And these I'm just gonna use my, my handy dandy hot glue gun just to add some fun to it. Look, isn't that cute? So we have white. Let's see what other colors. We didn't use any of those. I don't wanna use red. We do have a pink. What do you think, pink? Oh, did you hide? Well, you're a designer, Heidi. You should be sprinkling your own. <laughs> but I didn't tell you that, so I will add, ooh. I like that light pink. Let me see, yeah, that teal doesn't match either. But these, I just got a big um, bunch of these off of Amazon. Heidi. With her shepherd's pie and the sprinkle box. Okay, light pink it is. These are so cute. Let me take the little tie off of it. And then I just have to decide. What I was gonna do is use this as the hanger. See this? But now I feel like I wanna use it for a different project because it doesn't really, I don't like it with it anymore. But I was gonna use those beads. But now we'll, we'll still use the stick and the twine, but we're gonna add some of this. So we can put some at the top right here. We can put some, oh, don't apologize, Heidi. I didn't tell you that. 
Heidi is my um, newest designer on my Chocoholics Anonymous team. Or we could put it here. I don't think I want to go the whole way up, right? You can do white and pink. White and pink. Like two rows, Stephanie? What do you mean? What do you mean, girl? Let me get the white. They have these little ties on them. Here's the white. I mean, you wanted like a double row? Like that, you mean? Or did you want one on the bottom? I don't think I like them together. I kind of like the white on here. What do you think? What do you think? Should we put white up there? I'm thinking just at the top. At first I was gonna put it along the bottom so that they kind of dangle. But I don't know if I like it as much at the bottom. Offset it for the filler in between the gaps. Yeah, I know, but you think they should be together, I mean. Together, together. So let's just cut that. Um, I'm gonna just take my handy dandy glue gun, but I'm just gonna put some on here. I feel like I was about to sneeze. And let's go ahead and glue this on there like that. Rhonda says top only. Oh, Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda says white, white, white. You don't think we should do pink too? Just the white? On the top only. Mm -hmm. Rhonda, you had a package go out today. I sent you some transfers that I had um, and the bloom cutouts to you. Your, I have to send you a message because I did get one of your other transfers today. That's how it happens. When I put something out in the mail, then something else comes. Um, but I was gonna ask you, Rhonda, if you didn't mind if I cut your heart transfer, because it's big, for easy shipping to you. Easy shipping. Let's just see. Let's see how this would go. Yeah, I kind of feel like it gets lost in there. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. We'll just do the white. We'll do the white for now. And then what you do is you you put the stick right through. Like that. Stick right through. And then we'll take our twine. And all you have to do put that through. Easier said than done for me. Uh, get through there. Get through there. I might have to trim it because it's a little frayed, which is fine. We have plenty. Um, we have plenty. All right. So I'm going to just take this and I'm going to tie a little knot here. Do, do, do. Tie a little knot. I'm going to cut that end off. And then you just have to decide how long you want it. And that's really going to depend on where you're, oh, thanks, Stephanie, where you're going to put this. These were my um, my Vegas nails. <laughs> they're a little different on both, but they're teal and it's like a shimmery, glittery white for my Vegas. Oh, geez, Louise. 
Isn't this such a cute little banner? I might take it to work with me. No, I'm not. Actually, this I think this is going to be the sprinkle prize. And then we'll leave it like right about there. And then I'm going to tie a knot on the other side. But you can switch this out for Valentine's Day ribbon. You can pretty much do anything with this. There we go. Ta-da! Look how cute this is. Yeah, Stephanie, this one I did dye. Um, the one that is not dyed, what did I do with? What did I do with that one? I just showed you guys. Oh, here it is. So this is how the banner comes, like this. Um, I think it was when I was with you, Stephanie. Didn't you leave me at a hobby store? I think you left me at a... I don't know where we were, but I went into Michael's and bought 16 other colors. <laughs> All right, let me show you guys what we have here. Look how adorable this is. Isn't that so stinking cute? Love is not just looking at each other. It's looking in the same direction. This is so super cute. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you guys for joining me. Remember, you can only get this reusable transfer if you're in the club. So if you're not in the club, you're going to want to hop on. Um, club members are also going to be receiving, um, what are they going to be receiving? A catalog, um, a printed catalog um, with their next club order because our brand new catalog does release February the 8th. You guys are going to die over all this stuff. Oh, that's right. You did have to go to the middle school. So here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and go into my sprinkle box. These are the people that have shared. This box is full, you guys. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks, Heidi. Okay. So, yes, Stephanie, here's a sprinkle box. There's a lot of names in here. I'm going to pick one out. I got one. I got one. Okay. Let's see. The winner is. Christy, Christy Bennett, you won this. Yay. Christy, I hope you love this. Christy is one of my Club Couture members, so she can probably create one just like this too. Awesome. Yes. So this will be your happy mail, Christy. I will get that out to you. Um, I actually have other things on the way for you, so I may just put it together, okay? Um, thank you guys so much. I'm going to go and started by Mahi Mahi. <laughs> Have a great night and um, see you guys soon. Okay. Sin, let me know what you thought. If you're still watching, send me a message. I know we've been talking and chatting about whether or not you'd like to be a designer. Maybe you might love to see the versatility of our projects. So let me know what you thought. Okay. All right, guys. Bye.